Uh, my name is Rosalio Sosa, and uh, I was born in Chihuahua, Mexico, back a uh, way ago. Mm -hmm. I'm 58 years old, just serving the migrants uh, uh, with uh, hosp hospitality and uh, uh, food, uh, shelter, food, and, and uh, all the needs, mainly mainly the spiritual needs. Uh, you can cannot imagine that uh, only with a shower they restore their dignity, and uh, it's only that. And after that, to feed him and, and start talking about the world we had, and uh, heal all, all all the wounds that they have, all the injuries that they have. We were following in uh, 2019 with the uh, migrant, uh, the MPP we call it, the protocol that uh, they have to stay in Mexico. We follow the need. So we end, uh, we end in Juarez, and we start supporting pastors uh, and uh, motivate them to open the church uh, doors in order to, to host uh, the asylum seekers that uh, was returned, returned from the from, uh, United States. And that's how we start, and it's, it's, it's a net where, uh, where we all, we all uh, participate. And uh, every week we can share how many spaces we have uh, uh, the needs that we have and, and uh, all, all, everything is like one, we acting like one. And actually that's, that's another, uh, this is the Red de Albergues para Migrantes, RAM, but uh, I'm the Vice President of, uh, of uh, Somos Uno por Juarez, that, uh, that, uh, that is only on Juarez, the shelters on Juarez, so uh, that's uh, two on one. Mm -hmm. the, the, the RAM is, is, is uh, along, along the border of Chihuahua, but also on, on, on Chihuahua, the capital, the city of Chihuahua, Cardenas, Chihuahua, and, uh, and, uh, and we're planning to to expand that through uh, through the journey with with the migrants. Uh, there's three main uh, ways that they they reach the north. At the beginning, it was because the economical situation, but uh, uh, after after three months, four months, when I was uh, talking to them closely, it was because violence and, and uh, they attempt to to they, their lives and uh, they be, they've been raped or or uh, different different kinds of uh, of uh, violence, but uh, they don't tell you and they just they, you have to go deep. At the at the beginning, they told they tell you about the economical situation and that's it. So you leave them alone. But after that, then then you. They tell you the stories. There's different stories, and mainly it's because of violence. When they reach the uh, the uh, shelter, they feel like uh, they lost everything. They feel they feel uh, depressed, and uh, if they if they injure or they have some bro broken bones, uh, or, or they cannot move, so they feel like that's that's it. There's no more for them. So spiritual, uh, spiritually. That's what we, uh, what we share the gospel on different manner. Uh, what we do, we, we let them know that we love them and, and, and we care about them and f we, we hear for them. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's mainly. And after that, when they ask us why you all do all this, it's because we love Jesus Christ. And, and they start asking and that's how we, how we do it. And it's amazing the way that they left this place, totally different, different person. They need to know that uh, it's, it's not recently, it's been here for, for centuries. And uh, if they want to know the Christians, go back to, to, uh, to Matthew and, and you see Jesus Christ as a migrant. migrant. And uh, we need to realize that uh, we are migrants somehow. And, uh, uh, since uh, we fail the order that Jesus Christ gave us to to go to the nations, so on his uh, sense of humor, he sent us all the nations so we can we can share the gospel. So we must take advantage of that, and uh, instead of looking for like a problem, we look for an opportunity to to share the gospel. They can do if they they don't have to live on the border. They, they, I know. Uh, they, th there's a lot of migrants in, in in their cities, so they can help. Just don't treat them like a somebody rare or from.
from uh, like an alien <laughs> or no uh, there's humans like us first of all uh, support high support i feel like like a uh, man is is uh, is uh, big uh, this support because as soon as that i post something uh, no asking or demanding. I just post something, and not not only not only you or or or, or him, but a lot of people. This, uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of pastors that uh, involve on, on on this, and I don't feel alone. I think on Fellowship Southwest along the border can help us, and, and we help each other. So we're like a family. I think like a F with a family. Mm-hmm. Please uh, stay alive and and and. and uh, just keep doing what uh, God tells you to do, and, uh, and uh, uh, because you're the leaders, and and, uh, and uh, we follow Jesus Christ, but we follow you also with your with your uh, example, with your living life. We can follow also the same um, the same trajectory, helping, serving. Yeah, you teach us how to do it. When you get to know about the, uh, the process, that's different. This different uh, process. It all depends how much uh, they're willing to pay to a coyote, and uh, and uh, it all depends uh, the way you're going to travel into or, or smug, uh, smuggle to into United States. And uh, for the, the cheaper, is just go across the wall and on your own risk. And 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 you know, it's funny. Even the even a, a letter. It all depends how much they charge you. If they charge you good, so it's going to be a good letter. Leather. If not, if not, then then it's a rope. Then they can climb. Uh, so, but uh, there's there's uh, no letter on on the other side. So uh, then, if you want one, then you need to pay extra or pay more. So uh, that, that's that's too risky. The other one and more expensive is uh, the tunnels. They make tunnels, and they, there's a lot of tunnels are along the, 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 the border and uh, um, they use it they use that not only for people but uh, for for drugs and all that and so uh, as soon as as soon as the uh, the other side authorities on, on, on the United States found it they feel that with concrete and but uh, they don't even finish to 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 put the concrete on and they already have another one next to it or some some other places so they they get in a lot of money so I think I think I think that uh, uh, if uh, if we all contribute, uh, that'd be better.